Hey you guys, what's up? I just wanted to do a, a video today um, talking about the acoustic guitar. I want to talk about, I got a, something to show you guys, uh, my very first guitar. And I wanted to um, list my top 10 favorite acoustic uh, songs that's played on the acoustic guitar. So here we go. So what I have here is my very first guitar. Uh, it's amazing I still have this thing. Um, I got this guitar and I remember it very vividly when I was three years old. And um, so it's it's got a lot of age on it. And um, I just kept it around. Um, when I went off to the Navy, I actually thought that my mom threw this thing away. <laughs> It's just something that I always held on to because growing up as a kid, um, um, I didn't have anyone to teach me, but I used to just strum this thing and just pretend I, I would put on records and pretend that I was playing and I just make noise with this thing. And it had gotten to the point, it's just a toy guitar and it's plastic actually, it's got some damage to it now, but I'm just surprised that it's been around this long. And I actually had, had I actually got it out the attic you know, that was silly of me to stick it up in the attic and it's plastic and so it, it, it got worse. But it had, um, it had just, uh, I think it had like three strings on it from the time I was probably eight to probably 18. <laughs> and, um, I just, I just had and I loved it. And, um, about a couple years ago, like I said, I went up to the attic and I was... I was feeling very uh, nostalgic. I was feeling very, uh, I was in a mood. And um, I was going through uh, some of my guitar stuff and I saw where I had some strings, that I, some old strings that I had. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna take those strings and I'm gonna put them on this, I'm gonna put them on my uh, toy guitar. And uh, it was, uh, it felt like God had spoke to me that day. He was like, you know, he wanted me to put these strings on here, even though it's not, it's really not playable. But it, this, it just symbolized to me as a, um, as a completeness of me. You know, I, I looked at it in, in a sense, like maybe this good guitar kind of represented me. Like I didn't feel like I was completely whole, you know, given the, the childhood, the childhood that I had. And I felt like now as an adult, a father, a, a husband, you know, and I just felt like I was at, I'm, I'm at the point in my life where I feel complete. And I said, I'm gonna put those strings on there. And I actually put the right strings on there. You know, it's just not any random strings. And then it's not playable, but it's probably is playable. I probably could tune this in here, but I won't try because I don't wanna mess it up worse. But um, it's something that been with me, it's been through the journey. And um, it's still living today, just like I'm living. And it's just, it's a symbol to me of uh, my past and, like I said, the present of where I'm going. So, just wanted to share, share that with you guys. And, uh, yeah, I'm crazy for holding on for something for this long. But there it is, okay. With that said, I'm going to bring this guitar over, too. This is my first guitar. And... I'm kind of like mad at myself because I I go back and forth from the guitar to the piano, so I never really invested into like a high end guitar because I never uh, played it long enough to really like. I would always get to the point where I'm like, oh, man, do I um, do I want to invest in that or do I want to invest in like a keyboard? So for for a long time I was like, no, nah, I would rather have a keyboard because I think I got more of a chance to be better at that. But so this guitar just kind of hangs around and. I'm, I'm thinking about investing in another one. I do have these other two, but they're not they're not high end guitars either. I just I just haven't had the heart to really like really invest into a high end one until I really get better at it. But this one here, just to talk about it, this one here actually this is a, a classical. I actually got this from a music store just because um, I was really inspired as a child by um, Jonathan Butler. And um, I always saw it was uh, his first album. He had he had a classical guitar, 
And um, he was the first person, Jonathan Butler was the first person that I felt like, it was almost like I could like, in a sense, come out the closet, <laughs> as far as not, not come out the closet. I mean, as a music, as a, as liking folk music. Like my whole childhood, my whole childhood, I really liked folk music. And back in those days, um, um, from where I grew up from, you know, it's not like to, it, it's not like it is today. If you liked a certain music, people would look at you strange. They'd be like, and, and excuse my, excuse my language, but, but um, they would say something like, "Why you listen to the, why you listen to that white people music?" Because music was very, mu music was almost segregated. In a sense, it was, but it wasn't like. Certain things was acceptable, like, um, like we, we used to listen to like uh, Wham or some of the British groups or some, you know, um, some of the pop stuff was acceptable. But if you listen to like James Taylor, people be like, "What are you listening to the country music, man?" And people will say, "I actually had my mom's like, you want to play this type of guitar?" and she was like, because everybody played like electric guitar. You know, you saw B.B. King or you saw um, George Benson, Bobby Womack, you know, which Bobby Womack did have the acoustic. But I wanted to, and I always wanted to play this one, but it just had a stigma with it. And so when, when Jane, well, not James Taylor, but uh, when Jonathan Butler came out and he was, he's my original guitar hero. And uh, I was like, I felt comfortable saying like, yeah. Yeah, I, I bought the tape and I felt comfortable like wanting to be, wanting to listen to it and, 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 and be an uh, acoustic player. And then like later on, uh, that's when Babyface came out with uh, um, uh, When Can I See You Again. And it, and that really like okay I can I can always I can come out the closet because everybody at that point started <laughs> copying everybody was like so it was it became cool so like I was like yeah I went to the store and I was like yeah you know listening to the car listening to the car and the girls be like what are you listening to that country music for and I was like nah that ain't that ain't country music that's babyface. <laughs> And they're like, oh, okay, it's baby face. But um, so yeah, music has come a long way um, as far as uh, being cool because you know, like even like hip hop in the '80s, you know, it was a stigma if you tried to like cross over or you so-called, you know, not keeping it real. So that's why. I, well, back to the story. Long story short, that's that's how I end up with this guitar because I just wanted to um, see how it sounded and see how how it played. And um, um, plus it, it was a lot better on the fingers, <laughs> you know, especially when you're learning. So, so you guys ready to run down this top ten? Here we go. Number ten by Joe. No one else come close. Number nine by my guitar hero Jonathan Butler. Falling in love with Jesus. Number eight, none other than Fleetwood Mac. Landslide. Number seven. North Carolina native and my homeboy, James Taylor, Carolina in my mind. Number six, Earl Clue, Dream Come True. Definitely check that one out. Number five, Cupid, 112. <laughs> Number four, Water Runs Dry by Boys the Men. Number three, Baby Face, When Can I See You Again. Number two, Tracy Chapman, Fast Car. And number one, y'all, is drum roll. Number one, y'all, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. That is my favorite ac acoustic song. This song literally can have me in tears. This song is so, so deep. I first learned this song, well not learn it, but I first heard this song years ago and I was, um, I never forget, I was in Circuit City back, it's a uh, store similar to um, 
to Best Buy. I think Best Buy actually ran Circuit City out of business. And um, they had the, the the big screen TVs, right? And I was over there, and I was walking by the big screen TVs. I never forget. And I saw Eric Clapton playing it. I didn't know who Eric Clapton was. I just saw this this funny looking British dude with these round glasses. And my God, it was like the best. Oh, it was one of the best thing I ever heard with my ears. And um, so um, years later, I saw him uh, and I heard the story of how, how the song came about, about him and his son. I think his son fell out of a apartment window to his death and he never lived it down. He blamed himself. You know? So when I hear this song, I don't care if I hear this song 50 years from now, it's going to be my favorite song because it's just so melodic. The way the string sounds on the guitar, the way he He's just an amazing guitar player. And um, when I hear this song, I, I just think about everyone that I lost. And it's just that, it, it, it's just like, it's almost like heaven. This song is just like imagining heaven. And just imagining uh, that moment when we reunite with everyone. And um, the point where he says like, I know there'll be no more tears in heaven. It's just like, oh my God, that, that, that's that's the point. I mean, that's not the point, but that that just like drives it, and it's just beautiful. You know, if you haven't heard it, check it out and go go look it up. Um, I'm gonna try to leave the description to all these songs in the link below. So, yeah, number one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'm gonna try to do more like this uh, with some of my favorite stuff. Uh, like I said, if you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys do not know how much that means to me. It really means a lot when someone just supports you. Even when it's crappy, you guys support me. I know a lot of times I don't feel like doing this, but I try to post every week. And you guys just constantly encourage, encourage, encourage. And I cannot thank you and love you enough. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I'll support you guys equally. No matter what you want to do in life, I will support you. I really, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you and love you. So, uh, take care. Have a good week. Have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to try to post some more stuff. Uh, I have taken a break from the keyboard, but I have gotten some requests. And I have gotten some more uh, um, songs that I'm working on. It's just that I'm feeling so... I'm feeling so in this acoustic mood right now and I can't get myself out of it. I get into this thing. It started I was uh I was doing the yard about a couple weeks ago and um I uh, had my um playlist and I was just listening I said uh, I'm listening to James Taylor playlist and I said, you know what? Why are you going back down this road again? Every time I listen to James Taylor I go down this dark road that I takes me about a year to get out of I start picking up the guitar, and next thing you know, I'm, you know, in my mind, and you can close your eyes, and uh, walking down a dirt road, <laughs> secret of light. It just really, it started, you know, you start to reflect on every single thing in life, you know. But um, hopefully, I can get out of this real soon. I can get back. I'm, gonna, I'm really gonna start trying to do more um, ah, gospel. I gotten away from gospel, and I love gospel. Gospel music is is my heart. And so, there's no no other music in this world that can replace gospel music. And I'm not just trying to be political. I'm you know, trying to sound nice, sound so holy. It's just something about it. When I play it, it's just something that resonates with my soul. I just remember asking God, God, please put some, you know, just come down and just let me play your music. Let me let me play a song for you, Lord. And let me just praise you with it. And God has blessed me, y'all. I know I'm not the greatest player in the world, but God has blessed me to even make a joyful sound towards him. And I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I'm telling you, there have been times I didn't have a clue. I didn't know what a chord was. I didn't even know. I just know what the notes. I just knew the black keys and white keys. And I prayed to the God that God please show me something on this piano. And he did. And um and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, I'm forever grateful, and I will forever, ever, ever for the rest of my life, you know, praise him, and I will forever for the rest of my life play, play songs to him. So, um, a lot of that coming up real soon, so stay tuned, God bless you, and take care.